Abraham alayhi salam was the first man and the first prophet. Allah made his human shape from sticky clay, just like you make things from Play-Doh. Can you imagine like, like clay is like Play-Doh and then just like sh shaping the perfect human? You cannot imagine that. That would be the hardest thing because Plato is like, it's Allah. I don't have enough clay. Allah can do whatever he wants. I, I, I can build a human after clay and dough. Play you like to play Plato? Yeah. You do too. Mmm. Allah used lots of different colors to make Adam, alayhi salam. And because all humans are children of Adam, alayhi salam, we see people all over the world of different colors. But then Allah did something that you and I can't do with Plato and that nobody but Allah can do. He breathed life into Adam, alayhi salam. That, just imagine, if you have clay, does it move? Can it talk? Can it eat? No. Can it read? Can it see? No, you just make it, right? You, the, like you could take Play-Doh and you could probably make like, I don't know, a cat. Or, but will your cat car? become your pet? Exactly. But you don't have the ability to make something come to life, right? But Allah has that ability. So Allah created the form, and then he gave life. So Adam, alayhi salam, started moving. Because Allah willed that. He wanted him to be created. All the angels thought Adam was amazing. But another creature called Iblis did not. And he was very jealous of him. Do you know what it means to be jealous? Yeah, if somebody else has something and you want it and then it creates like this bad feeling inside of you, right? I want that. That's called being jealous. Did you want to say something? Yeah, you guys have all heard this story, I'm sure. And you know it very well. It's so nice to hear that all of you know it. Iblis was uh, the, the another, another name is Shaitan, you're right. Allah taught Adam alayhi salam the names of things. So you guys were saying, how did they have words? So Allah taught him the names of things like bird, star, tree, and cloud, just like your parents taught you. How did he teach him all the words? I wasn't there to know exactly. <laughs> Were you there? <laughs> but Allah tells us in the stories of the, in the Quran that he taught Adam alayhi salam the words. And I don't know, maybe he created a part of his brain that he would know all of these different words for things. This book? How did they make this book? Um, the person who wrote it? How did they know what? The person who wrote this book? They took stories from the Quran and they made a book. So the, these are similar stories in the Quran, but somebody just made a book out of it and they made some pictures and stuff. Okay, Allah taught Adam to absolutely love to learn about everything. That's why we all love to learn. Do you love to learn? Yeah. You love to learn. You know what? When you learn, you're becoming smarter, right? Is it better to know more or to not know a lot? More. We want to know more, right? So if there's something we don't know about, we can read books. We can ask our parents. If you go to school, you can ask your teacher. You can raise your hand and ask a question. Oh, why is there a picture of the apple? 
well, maybe I'm going to get to that. I have to keep reading. Okay. When Adam, alayhi salam, started to feel lonely, Allah made him a wife called Hawa, or Eve. Adam and Hawa lived in a place called paradise, which is more wonderful than we can imagine. Allah had only asked them never to go near one particular tree. But after many years, Shaitan made them forget, and they ate fruit from that tree. Shaitan had tricked them and pretended to be their friend. Adam and Hawa were very sad about what they did, so Allah forgave them. He sent them to live on earth, so Adam salam could be his first messenger. Your smile was sick. Huh? Your smile was sick. So this book, it goes through all of the, the prophets. So if you don't have this book, maybe... Maybe it will be a nice Eid present or a birthday present or something. It's a very nice book.